walking back over to my truck, I had to go find some bolts out of the shop um, for the skid plate. We're gonna be installing the skid plate today. Once the skid plate is installed, we'll have the transmission cooler installed and the skid plate, and things should start really being prepared for this massive road trip and overland trip. It's gonna be so wait. All right, down here with the skid plate. Gotta remove two from the with the race skid, or race skid skid plate. Gotta remove the front two uh, cross member bolts on the sides here, and on that side. And then you're gonna actually be bolting it to the front, right here on these three holes. So let's get that done. I really need to get a stand for the camera. So how I did this is I picked this up. Man, it looks good on camera. <laughs> so I picked this up, held it with my knee while I was holding this with my right hand. So I, I put my hand right here, you know, held that up and then put my knees like so. And then I reach back here and tighten that up. So I tighten that up and then kept my legs under there and then just basically held it up with my knees and then threaded these all in. Everything's only hand tight and I still got to put this back corner in, but now it's held up by itself, which is fantastic. And now all I do is have to put that back one in and then start cinching everything down. Then I just got to get these hoses together and protect it against this piece right here. We'll be set. Man, I'm stoked. This is going to be sick. Good time to check the rest of your bolts as well. This one was loose. All right, tightened up. We'll see how she works. The only downside that I see to this is that changing transmission fluid, you have to take that skid plate off to do so. Hopefully I'm not changing it too much more because I got that extra cooler on there now. Okay, so what I did to protect these hoses, I actually took my old strut, cut the rubber off of it, and I used that rubber around each one of these areas. Then I just zip tied it. Should keep it from rubbing, keep it protected, but I think it's gonna look way good once that's done. Time to put on the bumper cover and grill. Then we're done. Looks pretty good in there. Tucked away nicely. Looks pretty good and then got the skid plate on. Turned out nice. There you have it, folks. Extra tranny cooler and skid plate. That'll be very helpful. I will say that definitely gives me a huge peace of mind that I have a skid plate on there. Hopefully I don't ever need it, but given the kind of trails and rides that I do with this, I'm really hoping that it'll protect my stuff for the most part. I think it will. I think it'll be great. Very excited. Uh, thanks, Colin, it's from the Facebook group. Um, thank you for the deal on the skid plate. And uh, hopefully one day you come back to the Ridgeline family. I know you got a real truck now, but hopefully one day you do. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate the support. We'll talk to you on the next one.